The following program is brought to you in part by Tennessee Department of Agriculture. This fall, there's fun worth finding just about every day at Tennessee farms, farmers markets, fairs, and festivals. You'll find corn mazes, pig races, farm animals and friendly faces, honey to eat, and fall colors that are a feast for the eyes. Whether you're looking for the perfect pumpkin or just a good scare, find yourself on a Tennessee farm with picktnproducts.org. South Cumberland State Park preserves the absolute essence of the Cumberland Plateau. It is hugely important for us and our natural heritage in this state, which we wouldn't have otherwise. Tennessee's newest state park is truly one of a kind. The Justin P. Wilson Cumberland Trail State Park, once complete, will stretch more than 300 miles from the Cumberland Gap to Chattanooga. But the length of this state's scenic hiking trail isn't the only thing that sets it apart. As it winds its way across the state, the Cumberland Trail intersects four wildlife management areas, four state parks and natural areas, three national parks and scenic areas, and many sections of private property. The Carmelin Trail is not an ancient trail. It's not something that follows a pre-existing route, but it intersects many of the most important trails and roads and pathways that historically crossed Tennessee. At Cumberland Gap, the northern terminus of the trail it comes right to the Wilderness Road. That's maybe the most historic feature of Cumberland Gap National Historic Park. That road was hacked out by Daniel Boone. The pathway through the gap that he followed was an old Indian trail. That old trail has been restored now by the National Park Service, so you can get the experience that Daniel Boone and his party had when they crossed through there. The Gap also has a wonderful Civil War history because as a roadway to the north or to the south, the Gap was an important place to protect. Buzzard Point is a scenic spot in Tennessee like few others. You stand on a, a knife edge ridge between two gorges and get a spectacular panorama that runs about 340 degrees if you get to the right point. It's been attractive to visitors and tourists since before the turn of the 20th century because there, there wasn't another view like it in the Cumberland Mountains that, uh, that they knew about. The Cumberland Trail State Park is wondrous. Black Mountain, which is the second tallest point in the Cumberland Plateau, there you can see where oceans wash the tops of those bluffs. There's still evidence there. They're 300 million years old. And the view down into Grassy Cove, which is a national natural landmark, and down beyond into the Sequatchie Valley is inspiring. The rock formations look like something out of the Black Hills of South Dakota. I mean, it doesn't even look like Tennessee in a way, and uh, it's a great day use park. It's a great destination all by itself. Setting aside these larger destination hubs for the Cumberland Trail is really important to make it user-friendly and, and give people who just want a day hike a destination.
This land to me is a sanctuary. Denny Haldeman lives in what many would consider paradise. His property lies on the edge of the North Chickamauga Creek Gorge, a pocket wilderness on the southern boundary of the Cumberland Trail. He is one of the many landowners who've made the trail possible through property easements. I moved down here in 1977 and totally fell in love with the mixed Mesophytic Forest of the South and dedicated many years to trying to do what I could to protect them. And in buying this land, I consider that an act of protection. And I hope to donate my land in kind when my time passes. We were very fortunate to have gotten it when we did. And in return for the good fortune to have gotten that, we get to live here, we get to enjoy this piece of land as a park and reap our rewards for saving it. I've broken my back four times and my neck once, and I've broken my wrist, my elbow. I've dislocated uh, my ankle. I've broken my ankle. It's a cumulative damage that we do to ourselves, but the, the reward of the sport is worth it. What Mark Cumnock considers fun would be considered a death wish by some. This exploratory paddler and his friends make the most of the Cumberland Trail's recreational opportunities. Although you're never in control of your own destiny, when you're in your boat, you don't think about your job, you don't think about anything else but that moment in time when you're in your boat. And I think that's the glue that brings all my friends together. We all see that for what it is. Live for the moment, and you're in that moment right then. You're sitting on the couch, you can't do that. It's a spiritual thing too. We're out here, I get to see what God made, and I get to experience it all. This is a, a world-class place, and everybody thinks it's the North Chick and it's just this little pocket. But this Walden's Ridge goes all the way from Chattanooga to Rockwood, Tennessee. It averages a creek every two miles. The linear park touches almost every creek that comes through there. The more that the people experience it, the more they want to protect it. The more they use it, the more it'll get protected. I want my kids to enjoy this area and I want my kids' kids to enjoy this area. This is 10 minutes from Chattanooga. I come here after work and play. This is a rare thing and I would love to see it protected for a lifetime and generations to come. While enjoying the stunning scenery and cool, clear waters along the Cumberland Trail, it's easy to take for granted the colossal efforts to complete and maintain the park. Efforts that would not be possible without the help of volunteers.